community. Illuminating. Fun. Stretching. Inclusive. Engaging. Focused. Dynamic. Intentional. Refreshing. Integral. Collaborating. Inspiring. Adventure. Exhilarating. Opportunity. Transformative. There are three elements to the teacher leadership program. Deepening content knowledge, reflecting on practice, and becoming a resource to colleagues. And like a stool which can't stand while missing one leg, all three of these elements work together to improve teaching and build leaders. Where teachers actually start their day being immersed in mathematics, which is really the focus of what we do. They move from that to thinking about what it means to teach that mathematics, and they finally think about um, what it, how they can become a resource for their colleagues by working on a product that they can take back and share with their teachers at home. Have fun, have fun, have fun, have fun. If you're not having fun, please tell us. We want to know, okay? And what does fun look like? Productive struggle, as opposed to... <laughs> Morning Math class is an opportunity for teachers to act as students. They work on problems without direct instruction, they talk to one another, and they'll also merge with an understanding of what it is to be a student, something that teachers don't often get. I feel like I finally understand why matrix multiplication is the way it is, and I've been, I've been doing matrix multiplication for 20 years and I just thought, oh, it's that it's that way because the, the first guy who talked about matrices wanted it to be like that, but no, now after working through these number sequences and things like that, now I see why it's the rows times the columns in that pattern. I love morning math. It's my favorite. I think a lot of people feel that way. Um, morning math here at PCMI is the ideal learning environment for me. It gives me a chance to explore and discover math concepts that I've never had the opportunity to explore while being surrounded by a really supportive group of teachers, usually five or six math teachers. And in that group, there's always somebody I can go to who can help me get unstuck. And finally, the summer's PCMI mascot data. The second component of PCMI is reflecting on practice. Current research and education is presented and modeled. Teachers then take time to absorb this information and find ways to apply it in classroom situations through collaboration with colleagues from a wide range of backgrounds. You know, what I can say is that attending the PCMI is just like a complete package. They give you, you know, uh, enrichment with the content and then at the same time you're teaching repertoire, like how are you going to teach your students more effectively each year? Just like you're getting better and better each year. component of PCMI is becoming a resource to colleagues. This happens in a variety of ways, with the ultimate goal being outreach into the wider mathematics community. As an example, PCMI teachers may create professional developments around the Common Core Standards. This can then be used, tested, and refined in many classrooms the following year, and revisions made for future use. It's great because we are actually given an opportunity to go online and try to create the same type of experience that is being created here at PCMI. So not just the people that's at the, the members of PCMI that's attending now will be able to actually take part, but the ones that have actually participated in PCMI before. This is a, sp a space where we produce awesome teachers. They're good when they come, 
and I think they leave even better. And by the time they've finished talking with each other and sharing over the course of the years, um, they become true leaders in mathematics education. ECMI has really taught me a lot of humility. Um, I, for the past three weeks, I have been in the steps of my students when they're sitting in class and they don't understand what's going on. So I think the biggest lesson that I'm taking away from PCMI is how to be a better teacher because I am going to understand my students better and how they learn.